Ah, uh, welcome back to daylight, everybody. We are in the docks, London Gateway, Stamfordley Hope. Ooh, HGV diversion. It's a little bit different today, isn't it? Going on an adventure. So, yep, the first job done and dusted. It was a bit dark still when I got there, so there wasn't really much that I could show you guys. So now it's nice and daytime. Nice and daytime. Sometimes I wonder how I get through life speaking the way I do. did I? Awesome. Great. Safety first as usual. PPE on. I was kind of going. I thought I was filming coming in but I wasn't so I missed all that but got to reverse onto another bay so once we're uh, down on this one, I'll take you around and I'll show you that one. Right, got our box off. Time to get our box on. Look how many there are. That's and that's and that's and that's. 15, 14, that's what we want, 14. Just there. Start indicating, oh look, one of our guys now. Go straight in the middle there. I was in his truck the other day. That's his truck. It up now, yo. Take a shunt, don't be a runt. Yeah, that's that's definitely the words. <laughs> right. I've got it in the hole. That's the main part. <laughs> You know, some days you just can't reverse. This is definitely one of those days. It's usually first thing in the morning when I come here at like half four in the morning. That's when I usually struggle the most. I have a real problem reversing in the mornings when I'm really tired. But I don't know what my excuse is now because it's like half past nine. Still morning, I guess. Yeah, we just say mornings. I'm not good at mornings. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's not perfect, but I got it in the hole. That's all that matters, right? Start driving somewhere. <coughs> Do you ever just start driving somewhere and think? Is this made for HGVs? I mean, the sat nav says I can go down this way. There's no weight restrictions. This bridge really doesn't look big enough for a HGV, especially when someone's walking their dog on it. <laughs> Come on, sir. Chop, chop. Look at that. Look at that is what you call comfy. <laughs> Pretty little village this is, isn't it? I mean, this is why I like being a HGV driver. Some of the places you get to drive through and see is really quite nice.
second delivery of the day. If you haven't guessed, it's a Waitrose. Just gonna be going left here, I believe. We need a 802. Oh, where is the office? Cause I am busting for a wee. One. That'll be us there then. 802. Oh. rushed on my reverses. A bit of window down. Reverse. Has a lot on. gonna cut it off for us. We've got 40 minutes to it, I needed a break. We'll be close. back doors for me. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. There we go. I mean, it would have been quicker for me to do it myself, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Such an ass. Right. Let's go. Good. Right, catch you guys in a bit. Right, guys. We are about to head off. 
So, firstly, I need to not open the door, I need to pull forward because I'm not going to shut the back doors on the bay. Pull forward just a tad. About there will do. I'm going to shut the back doors. Exciting stuff, I tell you. Exciting stuff. For you that don't know, if you're new to containers or you want to do containers, not all the doors have these strings. So make sure you're prepared to have some sort of tie back. Because you can't reverse very well with doors swinging about. Uh, the top tip of the day. This one, I'm lucky it does have ones on it already. So that's nice for me. And then we'll do that bit. Slot that one in there like that. Put that one in there like that. Just like that. Same principle. Like that, like that. Make sure you check up top, make sure they're all in place. Good to go. Right, we've got to head back to said yard, being Tilbury, and then we are going to pick up a truck. Don't know if that will be my truck or someone else's truck. Um, hoping that it will be my truck. Um, uh, unfortunately not your truck but you will be in the one you'll be right okay so I'm not picking up my truck but the truck I am picking up will be the one that I will be using tomorrow fair enough yep yeah. handbrake and away we go. Let's get out of here. Going to Kettering tomorrow, apparently. Should be fun. If you all fancy joining me tomorrow, I shall be going up to Kettering. Not too sure what I'll be um, doing where I'm going in Kettering uh, we shall find out soon enough I guess I really thought this place was going to be hard to find I don't know why but it really was quite easy I was quite happy with that back me do does right I'm gonna turn you off a second because that might be a bit funny so, see you in a second definitely going this way because you can't go the other way it's a seven and a half ton restriction let this guy go come on sir after you after you Welcome. See what we are going to do, we're going to lift up the axle because otherwise we're going to be skidding all over the place. Thank you, sir. Slowing down for me. Used to work down in this area. Not this right here, but just down the road a little bit. And I used to do tipper work. Um, yeah, I lived over in Kent for a little while in Rochester for about six months, maybe. 
maybe less, maybe more, I don't know really, I can't really remember. It's part of my life that I try to, uh, try to eradicate now. But no, to be fair, it wasn't all that bad. It's not a bad area actually. Um, so I was living in Rochester and working out of Alsford, I guess. Als Alsford? Is that how you say it? Whatever. Just going to go over the M20 now. See you in a second. I shall be on you. There it is. Ooh, bouncy, bouncy. Right, now. I remember that pub as well. I went down there once. Anyway, back to the video. Uh, so yeah, I, oh, this roundabout is a pain in the bum. So we're going to put our hill assist on. So we don't roll back onto anybody. We don't want to be doing that. That won't be nice. All those older truckers were going, yeah, hill assist, no back in my day. Yeah, you know, none of that. We had 400 gears. I know, you are far superior, and you have my respect. I've done a 12 gear shift box, so I'm not a total, you know, technology whore. I do have a little bit of experience of old man driving. Um, and I will just tell you right now, I care not for it. It's not something that I liked doing, and it's not something that I ever really want to do again. <laughs> why would you want to? Why would you want to put yourself through that when you can just drive an oversized go kart? Dusty. Let's go. M20. Homeward bound. How long till we get back? An hour and one minute. Ah, don't think that's right, but we'll see. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for joining me. As always, it's been a pleasure. Um, I am doing a little experiment this week. Just basically going to release a video a day, possibly. I'll see how it goes. If I get enough time, I do have twins, toddlers, so... I, I intend on doing a video a day. Whether circumstances let me do a video a day is two totally different things. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I shall see you all on the next video, hopefully. Oh, you might think it's a load of rubbish and they'll come back again. Either way, thank you for watching. Peace out.